So one of the, uh, the most popular questions I get asked, uh, especially by people that are new to pike fly fishing, is sort of the thing that most people struggle with is leader construction. Uh, so we'll quickly look at some of the full and mill stuff um, that I'm using. We've got the full and mill master class fluorocarbon in the 23 pound breaking strain here. This is this is great stuff. Um, it's highly durable. Uh, I've never had any problems with it. Um, We've also got the full and mill um, 26 pound 49 strand nylon coated wire that I use in conjunction with it. This comes with two fast arch clips. A lot of guys like to use clips to attach the flies as opposed to tying the wire straight on. Uh, personally I prefer to tie the wire straight on but you've got the option here of the clips which is great uh, in my opinion. So this is a great combination, the Masterclass fluorocarbon with the full and mill 26 pound 49 strand nylon coated wire which comes in a five meter coil. So what we'll look at now is the actual leader construction itself. As I said earlier, this is um, the question I get asked the most and uh, what people probably struggle with the most. What you want to do is you want to keep it fairly simple. Uh, pike are not leader shy, are not line shy, so there's no finesse here or anything. What we're going to do is we just take a length of leader section, this master cast fluorocarbon, you would take five to six feet of that. You'd put a single surgeon's loop on each end. The one end would be attached to your fly line. The other end would be attached to your wire. Again, we've got this, we've got the full and mill 26 pound 49 strand nylon coated wire here. We'd put a loop in the end of this and loop to loop to the end of the leader. I would normally use about a 18 inch section of this. I don't normally use the clips. I prefer, I don't change flies a lot, so I tend just to attach the wire straight onto the fly. For that note, I would use uh, what I would call a, a reduced mono, uh, non-slip mono loop. It's exactly the same as a non-slip mono loop you would use in your nylon or fluorocarbon, except you would only turn it round once or twice on the main body of the wire, so that's why I call it a reduced uh, non-slip mono loop. Right, so we'll take the tag end of your fluorocarbon here, we'll fold it back on itself, fold it over on itself, and we're going to create a single surgeon's loop in this. So all we're doing is folding it back on itself and taking it through the loop that you've created and pulling it down. So you want to put a bit of saliva on this knot that we've got here to lubricate it. Obviously when you pull it down it creates friction and heat, so you want to put a bit of saliva on here, this, on this actual loop here, you don't want to damage it. So what I normally do is I'll put the end of my cutters in here to help me pull down and help to seat, seat the knot. So we're left over with a tag end here. All we'll do is nip this in. Always nip it just a wee bit long, just, in, just to allow for any slippages. It doesn't normally slip, but just in case you've got a wee bit there for it to bed in. So I've created a loop on the end of the flora cabin here, we now need to create a loop on the end of the wire to attach this. So now what we need to do is, uh, we need to attach our wire bite tippet onto our flora carbon leader. So again what we'll do is, we'll create a overhand single surgeon's loop in this wire. So we'll take a, a length, I like to use about 18 inches for this. Um, it means that if I'm changing flies I can nip the leader back a wee bit without it becoming too short. Plus, there's a lot of sharp places round about the outside of the pike's mouth, it's, it's, it's gill covers, so you, you, you want plenty of wire, it's not going to catch any, anything sharp outside the pike's face as well. So, uh, again, we'll create single surgeon's loop in the wire. We're then folding it back on itself, putting the wire back through the loop that we've created. This time we don't need to lubricate it because we're dealing with wire and plastic, so it's not going to damage it. We'll put the handle of the, the, the cutters in here, pull down on it, and then we'll pull on the tag end and snug it right down. Again, we're left with a tag end that we need to nip off. Just leave it slightly long to allow for any, 
any movement in that knot and reseating it or seating itself down. So that's our actual bite tippet that we're going to connect to the leader that we've already created. So this is a loop to loop connection that, that, that we're going to make here. So we'll take the loop of the wire, we'll put it over the loop of the fluorocarbon, we'll take the end of the wire and then pass it back through the loop on the fluorocarbon and pull them down. Snug them down together. And that's your connection between your actual main leader and your 18 inches of wire. The other end of the leader has got a loop and again it would be loop to loop fly line to the actual fluorocarbon. As I said earlier, the full and mill 49 strand wire comes with a fast hatch clip. I prefer to tie the wire straight to the fly, but you do have the option of using that clip if you prefer it.